using the shortcut keys in Prime Suite. This short video will describe some of the top shortcut keys, how to use them, and where they can be found for reference. Prime Suite has a lot of shortcut keys that can be used at any time in the program depending on your workflow and needs. Not all of the shortcut keys that you'll find will be useful. To print out a reference sheet or to view a reference sheet of all of the shortcut keys, navigate to Help, Prime Suite Help, type shortcut keys in the top right search box, click the first search result, which will give you a listing of all of the shortcut keys programmed into the system. Although we don't recommend printing out items from the Prime Suite user help menu due to their length, this is a short one and a half page reference sheet and can be printed or just viewed on this menu for reference. The first shortcut key is the F5 key on your keyboard. The F5 key acts the same way as this refresh button, but it just doesn't require me to navigate using my mouse and it keeps me on the same page instead of having to go to the Greenway menu simply to refresh. So refreshing will refresh the page that I'm on without leaving the screen. The next shortcut key that is useful is the F8 key. The F8 key will populate the patient list no matter where you are in the system on any page. This is highly useful, especially to clinicians uh, that are documenting. If I'm documenting as a clinician and I need to see what my status is of my patients, if uh, patients are waiting for me or if I have more time to document, instead of saving my note, navigating to the Greenway Prime Suite icon, I can click F8, review the current patient list, which is refreshed, and take action or just X out and continue my documentation. Likewise, on the charges page, F8 is highly useful for charge posters. As I enter a charge, I can click F8, click the next patient, and assuming that this filter has the navigation set to the charges page, the system will revert me here to the next patient, have the super bill pop up, and I can continue my charges, uh, my charge entry here. The F7 key on your keyboard will populate your reporting module, no matter where you are in the system. This is highly useful as well. If I'm designing a report and I need to run tests on that report, I can simply hit F7 and navigate to my reports on the left and run a test. If I'm charge entry posting, excuse me, if I'm posting charges and I need to see my transaction detail balancing report to make sure my charges are captured or to see where I left off, I can click F7 and I don't bother whatever I'm doing in my active screen. The F9 shortcut key on your keyboard will allow you to populate the delivery information, which is used mainly by OB clinics uh, to document expected delivery versus actual deliveries. But this will avoid you having to navigate in order to find the delivery information box um, in the menu. The F3 key can also be useful for practicing clinicians. Once the growth chart has been populated with the F3 short shortcut key, the user can then change the growth chart or simply view the data points on the growth chart. While some of these shortcut keys might have an F component like F7, F9, some of them have an Alt ALT component. The Alt key is found next to your spacebar on the keyboard. The first Alt key shortcut key that we are going to discuss is the Alt R key. So clicking the, the keyboard or the key Alt plus the letter R will populate my referral management screen and allow me to manage existing referrals or add new referrals to the system. If you're looking for an alternate way of finding patients and searching for patients, you can click the Alt plus Z as in Zebra option, which will populate the Zoom patient search box. Now this will allow me to, pop, to type in a patient's name, date of birth, social security number, or any identifying patient information, especially the patient ID, if I know it. If I type in a name and there's only one person in the system with such a name or such detail, the system will automatically populate the patient buffer. Because there was only one Delgado in my system, it automatically populated that patient into the buffer. If I populate using the Alt-Z into something that has more than one finding, then the search page, the patient search page dialog box will pop up just the same as if I had clicked this icon here. The Alt-C as in Charlie option will give me a zoom box or a report shortcut box that will allow me to type in any shortcut that I've assigned to a report. I have a report called Charges, Payments, and Analysis, and I gave it a shortcut called CPA. When I click Alt and Charlie, type in CPA or whatever my shortcut is, and hit Enter, the report will appear, and it will place the patient that's in the buffer 
into the current report filters. Lastly, there's the Alt S key, which is the save key. Now the save key works sporadically, the save shortcut on different menus, like in the quick care providers menu uh, and in the registration menu. This registration information page is possibly the best example of a place to use the Alt S. The save button is way down here in the bottom right. And for navigation purposes, it's probably not situated in the best spot. So as I make changes, if I click Alt S, it saves the page that I'm on, just as if I had clicked the save button. Play with this shortcut key because it works on some menus and on other menus it does not. Generally speaking, if there's a save button at the bottom right of the screen, you can use Alt S to save your work as you go. To find some of these shortcut keys, besides going to the Help and Prime Suite menu and typing in shortcut keys, if you navigate above the top, you will see some of them listed, F9, F8, reporting F7, etc. 